Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a journal flip through. I will be flipping through my 11th journal. This journal took me, I want to say about a month. It's a pretty small journal, so that's why it's been a while since I've worked in a smaller journal. My past two journals have taken me a lot longer like several months. So this was very refreshing to have a shorter journal to fly through. This journal is from Papillion Press, which I found in St. Louis, and you can look that up their website, papillionpress.com, and so they printed this design. It's like, the actual design is like historical in some way. I don't know. My memory is not that great, but you can definitely look into it if you're interested. It was a really nice journal. And then on the outside, you can look at my journal setup video for how I decorated this journal. But briefly, I'll just mention that some of my own stickers are on this. That my strawberry mobile, these little strawberries um, are on a sticker sheet. And this frog cake sticker, they're all on my Etsy, which is always linked down below. It is Star Stationery Supply. And then the rest I mention in the YouTube video where I set up the cover. You can always comment down below to ask as well. So yeah, that's the cover. Then we open it up and I put in the information about this journal so that I could reference it in the future, especially because it was a small independent company that was really interesting. So it was really cool information about this journal. This is also a part of my setup video um, that I just mentioned decorating this journal that I will have linked down below and I'll probably have put up an iCard by now. But yeah, this is the cover. I started it September 12th, 2022, and I ended it today, actually. I'm filming this on October 6th, 2022, Monday and Tuesday. I have this date stamp. It is self-inking, and I love it so much. I've been using it a lot in this journal, but you can look them up on Amazon, and I'll also link mine down below. This is what it looks like, and I have been loving it recently. A continuation of Tuesday, and then Wednesday... I think some of these spreads I did TikToks. I'm really bad at posting on TikTok and I don't think I like posting on TikTok, but if you ever want bonus journal content, you can look there. I'm pretty sure it's still just my name. My name is spelled with a C, C A T E, Kate Van Leven. So I don't like posting on there. We've got a receipt. I also did some watercolor on this day. Sometimes I need to pull out some watercolor in a journal with me and kind of show that process. I went to a thing at my school, a little fair, and there was a bunch of stickers that I collected from it. Some more watercolor. This was from the fair. This, I love this spread. I went to the farmer's market with a friend and I put in some pictures. This is what I use for pictures. It is the Victure photo printer. It's a really great photo, portable photo printer. It's currently the only printer that I have at school so it's nice to have an option to print photos for my journal and it's the best one that I've found. A lot of portable printers aren't very great and I found that the Victure one is the best. I love putting in different parts of my day as you guys know. I love this I I printed this out from Pinterest. It's just a photo from the internet but also, this paper is also just a photo from the internet, but it it has this texture, even though it's just a picture. But I like the way it looks. Friday, I got garlands, Halloween garlands, for my room. They're like felt garlands, and this was from that. Very fall vibes. I did a journal with me on this. I will link it down below, but you should go check that out. Monday. I made these in class. I am currently attending art school and we're working on logo design stuff, but then we are cutting it out using a silhouette machine. So this is the sticker, the vinyl version. So I'm actually working on stuff for Star Stationery Supply. So I've updated it a little bit recently. If you go and check that out, not with products, but the overall design. I love this page. I, I found these in like, like an art vending machine. It was a really interesting thing. But they had these little oracle cards that were scratch off. They're really cool and I love the design of them. 
more of that continued. This one I actually like did some doodles, like some drawings, which I don't really do in my journals, which is interesting because I am an art student, but I tend to just like decorating instead of like actually drawing. My friend sent me a letter and so there were googly eyes on it. So I put them in here, but it, even though it makes it a little bulkier, I baked the cake. Friday, this I just like was like kind of having fun with the pages and I, I folded this one inward, decorated it with stickers and then I used it as a part of this spread. This is just writing. This is from a coffee shop. These stickers are like supposed to be vintage perfume label. So this is like another one of those. I got receipts. I love putting in receipts. I think it just says so much. How I've been feeling lately. This is something my friend made. It's a process called cyanotyping. So that was really interesting. Um, I wrote on the light rail. I'm not gonna lie, I normally don't buy tickets for that, but they bought them for us. So I actually have one to put in my journal. Tuesday, I have some writing in here. I learned about Rhizo or Rhizograph, which was really cool. Wednesday, another, like the same sticker from that coffee shop. Really like going there, making things more seats. This was today. I think this turned out pretty cool. And this is the end of the journal. It was so short. This is such a small journal. Um, I really love this journal because I think it's really pretty and I liked how I finished all of my pages. Like my spreads were complete. Whereas like, for example, my last journal was very incomplete. But one thing that I didn't like is I felt the need to make this more perfect because it was going so well. Something about the fewer pages, I felt like they all had to turn out good. And so when I'm in a journal with more pages, I use them up in different ways, like making different spreads that are just random. Kind of like this one of like making things. It's not about my day and like writing. It's more of just kind of I don't know, things in my brain. Random spread ideas. I had less of those and it was more of just straightforward everyday things. So I'm kind of excited to be in my new journal right now because I'm able to have more fun with the spreads I'm doing and not just make daily pages and not feeling this pressure to fill everything up and make it perfect. So this is my new journal. This is also one of my stickers. Very exciting. Go check it out. Also check out the video where I decorated this journal. But here's what it's looking like. I was writing in it today and I also set up this spread. But like I was just testing pens and like there's less pressure to like make these pages perfect. Because there's so many. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun working in this journal now after being in such a short one and one that was also just like kind of neat and going well like i kind of want a messy journal something i can just put my thoughts down and not worry about whether i'm gonna fully fill up the page or whether it looks super nice i don't know that's just kind of what i'm thinking right now but that's the end of the flip through like i said i'm really excited to work in my new journal and i really love how it's these different pages that's really exciting to me right now and yeah i'm going to keep working in that maybe i'll do some journal with me's for you guys and some other content so make sure you subscribe down below and give this video a like if you liked it i will see you in my next one thank you so much for watching